Here in Douglas County, we think we've found the right combination to help students and young people struggling with mental health issues. We've paired a law enforcement officer with a mental health clinician, and together we call them the Youth CRT, Community Response Team. This year we've doubled the number of youth community response teams available so that every one of the 92 schools in Douglas County has access to these life-saving teams. Getting to these students early is huge. We're seeing a lot of kids in crisis, a lot of suicidal ideation, homicidal ideation. They get sucked into social media and it just makes them anxious and then you add on school and sports and family. Just kids not feeling really good in their skin. It sounds like your counselor was a little bit concerned about you. Can you tell me what's been going on? So the goal with CRT responding out to calls is to avoid kids going in handcuffs, going in the back of a police car with a cage and being transported to the emergency room. And we make it very clear from the start she is not here as law enforcement. She is here to figure out as part of the team on how we can best help you. We want kids to feel safe speaking about their feelings because if they don't speak about it, then no one knows what's going on. And our end goal is just to be a support. Most of my experience comes from children who have been in the system for a very long time, and you can kind of see the effects of that. But right now, what I'm seeing um, with CRT and with people getting really involved with our case managers and connecting with their families, I think it makes a huge difference. Between June 2022 and May 2023, the Youth Community Response Team has served 531 individuals, received 324 referrals, had 643 successful encounters, 72 emergency room saves, and relieved 187 officers. 